welcome back. Today I'm going to try just to get you moving in the right direction, especially if you haven't touched uh, HTML, JavaScript and CSS before. I kind of want you to just get a touch of it, just to figure out what it is and how to use the different parts. And uh, I've been really fond myself of uh, learning on, on this site called uh, Codecademy. They have a lot of different courses in here. Um, and the ones that I feel that we should focus on is um, pretty much the one I completed here. So let me just uh, open this. There's uh, one on HTML and CSS. Let's uh, start there. I think that's, that's where we should start. And it's, it's not a big course. And you should just take the ones that are actually available. Now, let me just try and open one of these guys just to show you what it's all about. So the HTML basic course, you have to register yourself. You have to log in to get going here. And uh, let's just try and open this one so you can see. So the cool thing about this page and what I really feel they've done very, very good is that you can actually sit here and, and read a bit of text right over here just an explanation about what it's all about. And then there's a small introduction and you can actually write some code yourself. Now I'm just going to do something here. Um, do stuff and I'm going to save and submit. And here you can see the do stuff now pop up. So you have a real feeling that you're actually developing your own code and you're getting instant feedback about if you pass this part and if yes, you can start the next lesson. So there's a new exercise here. There's going to be some new information for you and you're going to complete that step by step. So the first course I really feel you should introduce yourself to is um, let's just uh, look at all courses. I'm just going to scroll down here. And the first one that's really important is the one called HTML and CSS. Now, of course, if you're familiar with that already, don't waste your time there. It's just if you're totally new in this, you've never developed a web page before, just to get the introduction, I really feel you should do this course right here. Step two is, uh, in my mind, the JavaScript course. So try to understand JavaScript. And again, I'm just going to give you a taste for what's in here. And of course, the ones that are locked, don't look into that. It's not important that you try those. Not for now at least. So just do the basic ones and let's jump into one of the lessons here. And again, I've, I've already done these, but let's just, let me try and read this for you. So it says, let's get to know each other. What is your name? Write your name in quotation marks. So we're just going to learn a bit about how to make a JavaScript file. Now this is a very, very simple one. Let's move into, you see there, this is a list of all the different ones. Let's uh, go into using the console lock. That, that sounds fun. So here, here we have one where you can actually learn just a few JavaScript commands. This is actually the way we're going to use to print to our console in the browser. So this is just giving you an idea about how to do JavaScript. And uh, let's again, if I save and submit, you can see that it printed into the JavaScript controller here and I can do hello world instead if I want to. Oh, that wasn't world. This is the world. And I can see who say, uh, yeah. Let's just do this again. Start next lesson, it doesn't matter. There's some uh, exercises on every page. So, uh, hello world. How many letters are there in this one? Let's do save. It's still true because it's less than 200. Again, you can get an idea of JavaScript. And I think these courses, if I jump back to the actual course page, they are between two and, and five hours, but I feel that you can do them faster than that. But let's just check out the JavaScript one again. It says here in the bottom somewhere, oh, let's find it, let's find it. The JavaScript course, back to courses, why doesn't it say the amount of time it'll take? Well, probably because I completed it, but they say different times from between, um, I think this one was six hours. Well, but take your time, go as fast as you feel you need to go. And when you're ready, come back to my course. When you feel you've completed these guys, at least those two, they are the most important ones. Some other ones you could touch is maybe um, make an interactive website, make a website. There are a lot of great ones in here. You can even look into AngularJS one if you want to, but we'll look more into that later. But again, come back, try these two courses as a minimum just to get started. The HTML, CSS, and the JavaScript course. When you feel you're done with those, and when you feel you have 
the basic knowledge of what I'm going to present to you, come back and continue the course here and we'll start looking into the Mongo database, which will be awesome. Thanks for your time.